I teach photography at UNC Chapel Hill in the art department, digital and darkroom. I also teach in the women's studies department and I am a photographer myself. My work is about gender and race and recently I've been working on two main projects and one of them is on the border which is the project I worked with um, Renzi on and that is I've been walking and biking and canoeing down the Rio Grande River on the U.S.-Mexican border and photographing the objects that get left behind by immigrants as they swim across the river and then try to disappear into the town of Brownsville, which is literally one street away from the river. So I was able to take the camera, the two 3D stereoscopic setup of cameras that Renzi provided me with down to the border and photograph those objects. I knew there were possibilities that I should explore with Renzi. I heard that they were doing great things and were wanting to do collaborative projects, especially with people in the arts. So I thought for my students' benefit that it was really important to move us into the digital age and collaborate with new media and just see what the possibilities were. I came over and I met with Ray and he suggested this project, which was really perfect and it's all about a new way of seeing the world that we look at all the time. So for an art class, it was really a perfect kind of collaboration. The first thing we did was we came over and we had a tour of Renzi, which was very impressive. The students loved it. They were really interested in looking at the dome and looking at all the projects you've already done. Then we um, looked at some 3D images that I had already produced on the border, so they got an idea of what the dual stereoscopic cameras could produce and then we went out and worked on our own projects in groups and the project was called Not Quite How I Remember It. So what they did was they took out the stereoscopic cameras and re-photographed um, or restaged an image from uh, history that had been in the newspaper. I stipulated it that it be in black and white based on an old black and white photo because I wanted them to go back in time. The project really is about understanding the present by understanding the past. The images they chose turned out to be really, really interesting, especially they chose one from the 40s with um, people standing in line uh, with signs uh, protesting the economic times and um, here we are in this, you know, the current economic times. So that was one way for them to understand the past. It also talks about collective memories and, and what that means today. I'm not sure we all understand exactly what that collective memory is, but I know that we do have those images that are stored in our memory banks. So when you recreate it today, it can change the meaning of it. Um, for instance, there's a photograph from the civil rights area, era, um, and there are a large group of Af African Americans standing there with a sign that says, I am a man. So what happens when there's a woman standing there with a sign that says, I am a man? Mm -hmm. And how does that change the conversation and move the conversation to gender and what's taking place with those issues today? So it's an, a really interesting way to sort of experience the past and understand maybe what was happening then and how that does relate to things that happen in a current day situation.